Support this podcast via our Patreon and get more writerly goodness. Visit patreon.com slash nanocast to join up. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Every Month. My name is J. Daniel Sawyer. I'm the author of some 20 books, 34 short stories, and numerous articles and other things, and I am your guide on this journey to use NaNoWriMo to level up to professional output levels. Welcome to Day 29. This is the point in the book where your point-of-view character is going to encounter the uncounted costs of his or her adventure. This is the part where Indiana Jones realizes that everything he went through to find the Holy Grail is basically for nothing because it's been swallowed up by the Earth. Everything he went through to acquire the Ark of the Covenant is more or less for nothing. I mean, he did keep it out of the hands of the Nazis, but the Ark obviously wouldn't have let the Nazis use it anyway. And now it's off in a warehouse where it can't be studied, so everything he went through is for nothing, except that he restored his relationship with Marion Ravenwood. This is the part of the story where Frodo returns to the Shire only to discover that the Shire is not home anymore. There are two basic kinds of stories in the Western tradition, and I'm not talking comedy and tragedy. I'm going a level below that. The two basic kinds of stories in the Western tradition are drama and melodrama. In melodrama, your characters remain the same. They may have an adventure, but the adventure doesn't leave a mark. Next week, Dudley Do-Right will still be a sergeant in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He will still have Nell Fenwick trying to seduce him, and he will still be completely clueless about it, even if he and Nell got married this week. At the end of a melodrama, everything is a reset. Your characters do not change. They don't bear the scars of the adventure. They don't materially gain from the adventure, even if they won. And normally they do. In a drama, something about the character fundamentally changes because of the events in the story. And most stories that you read these days are drama, because melodrama started to fall out of fashion in the late 19th century and finished falling out of fashion in the mid-20th century, basically when the Lone Ranger went off the air. And in drama, your characters do bear the scars. The journey that they've just gone through means something. It's the most important event in their lives. And nothing they have ever run into before prepared them for the adventure, and nothing they've ever run into before has prepared them for the aftermath. Now, the aftermath could be entirely good. It could be entirely bad. Frequently, it'll be a mix of the two. But whatever it is, it leaves your character in a different place, with a different outlook on the world, however minor, than that character had at the beginning of the tale. These costs that your character bears, the gains that they've incurred, the relationships that they've destroyed and created, if you're writing drama, then now's the time to make it clear to your audience that your character is a different person than they started out as. That's what happens after the climax in a drama. And it's easy to miss it in all the excitement. And tomorrow, we will talk about why that's important. So I'll see you then. NaNoWriMo Every Month is written and presented by J. Daniel Sawyer and produced by Artistic Whispers Productions. Visit our website at NaNoWriMoEveryMonth.com and leave a tip in the tip jar to support this podcast. NaNoWriMo Every Month is copyright 2015 by J. Daniel Sawyer and Artistic Whispers Productions and released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License.